Just to let you know, this video could contain things that you might consider a spoiler. If you got a problem with that, don't watch the motherfucking video. If you watch the motherfucking video, don't complain about motherfucking spoilers. And also, I do want to let you guys know that I will be streaming on my Twitch.tv, which will be linked in the description below. Now that we got that said, I want to thank you guys for watching and enjoy the video. What's up guys, it's Jay, more than after kill, and I'm back here with more Grand Theft Auto 5 pre-release news, information, and coverage all the way up until Grand Theft Auto 5 releases. Now this video will contain minor spoilers about the game, so if you don't want anything spoiled, you might want to click off the video right now. But, for those of you guys that do choose to watch this video, I do want to make sure I say that this is Grand Theft Auto 4 footage that I'm using. It's not Grand Theft Auto 5. I had a few people on the last video that were really confused. They thought this was Grand Theft Auto 5. This is just Grand Theft Auto 4 on the PC using the Ice Enhancer mod. And I gotta say that it looks absolutely motherfucking gorgeous. But, that is not the topic of this video. What we are talking about is that Grand Theft Auto 5 was leaked, a little bit of information was leaked, and now we have the achievement list for single player. Now, the multiplayer achievements have been released too, but since those are a separate GTA uh, entity, we've already known this, Rockstar has said that GTA Online will be released a few weeks after Grand Theft Auto 5, so I figured why not cover the single player game and the multiplayer achievements a little bit separately because they are just a little bit different. Just a little bit different flavor spice. <laughs> so let's get into these uh, achievements that were uploaded to Xbox.com and then Xbox360Achievements.org has released this entire list. Now, I'm not going to go over every single one of them because some of them are just your standard, you know, complete this mission, get to this part of the game, get this achievement, you know, do these. But what I wanted to talk about are things that not only are new to GTA, but also returning from Grand Theft Auto. So, the first one is All's Fair in Love and War. That is an achievement for purchasing a downtown cab company and completing a private fair. Now, this is something that's been in GTA all the way back to about, I think it's GTA 3. I remember picking up my first cab fare, driving around town, and, uh, you know, I, I really do enjoy those because they're a little bit more relaxed and I don't have to go and shoot a bunch of shit. Even though I love shooting shit, sometimes, sometimes you just want to drive people. Like, I remember this one time that I was playing online on GTA 4, and I was just driving around people on a bus, kind of role-playing, having a little bit of fun. And I came over a hill, and there was a motherfucker with an RPG, and I had like five people on this bus, and yeah, <laughs> we all died. And that's the randomness that I do love the GTA, that they do have these type of little side missions in there, that you can just sit back, listen to some of the awesome, awesome music that GTA always has on the soundtrack. We will be covering that in another video. Don't worry, but the second achievement that I do want to talk about is Los Santos Customs. You get 10 achievement points for fully modifying a vehicle. This is back from Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. I know a lot of people were really disappointed with GTA 4. The fact that not only could you not customize your vehicles, but with the off-center camera angle, driving in GTA was just a little bit disappointing. And it seems like the fact that they're not only bringing back custom vehicles, but also the camera from the gameplay that I've seen has been on center so it looks like that the driving in this game might be a little bit more tuned for your taste and the next one is a huge one first for the first time in grand theft auto motherfucking history you can modify your weapons now we don't know exactly what these uh, modifications are but I'm pretty much sure it's probably going to be like extended magazines, silencers, maybe even a laser sight or a red dot sight. We don't know exactly how they're going to handle that, but we do know the achievement is called Pimp My Sidearm, which is uh, something that I'm really looking forward to because, you know, sometimes you don't want to just blast with a huge pistol. Sometimes you just want to get that little beep, beep, beep silencer. <laughs> so, speaking of uh, new things, the GTA, we have an achievement called a Mystery Solve. 
Now, the, the achievement is for Sovin the Mystery of Lenora Johnson. This looks like Rockstar is taking a small slice out of the page of L.A. Noir and bringing it into Grand Theft Auto V, which is pretty cool because L.A. Noir was the type of game that it, it didn't really feel like it deserved its own game. It more, it felt like a string of side missions. And if there are detective side missions in Grand Theft Auto V, that seems like something that a lot of people are gonna be able to get their, uh, you know, their money's worth out of. Because L.A. Noir was, even though it was a cool game, it just wasn't fleshed out as a full game. If you know what I'm talking about, so we're gonna move on to the three-man army achievement. Now, the three-man army achievement is for surviving three minutes on at least a three-star wanted level with all three characters together off mission. Now, number one, this shows me that Rockstar is promoting that you just go on random rampages and kill the shit out of a bunch of people just for the fun of it. And I love that. Rockstar, give me more random killing. <laughs> so, not only that, but the wanted levels are not changing in Grand Theft Auto. We are still going to have, you know, the stars at the top of the screen that will tell you how many cops are on you and how intense the cops are going to come at you. But the one thing that I really do want to talk about is the fact that now you can hot swap between three different characters is going to it's going to change the entire way people go on rampages in Grand Theft Auto. Not only are you going to be able to maybe like hold down like one building now but you might be able to hold down an entire city block depending upon how you set up your characters with the vantage point and you'll be able to hot swap back and forth in between each characters and use their own action skills to gain a little bit of uh, an advantage against these cops because I do know the one guy's action skill is that he takes half damage and does double damage so he looks like the type of guy that you might want to put on the front lines down outside duck down behind a car while you got a couple of guys you know surrounding a little area and you're hot swapping between all three different characters so no longer are you gonna have to just duck down behind one car and try to fight off the cops you might be able to hold down the entire intersection or city block which sounds like something that I've been waiting for in Grand Theft Auto for a long time is the feeling that you are controlling the whole city and what, what better way to control the whole city than to shut down like two or three blocks with some motherfucking fireworks and a lot of motherfucking firepower. Now let's move on to show off. Show off is your standard Grand Theft Auto achievement for completing all stunt jumps and you know Rockstar is not going to leave this out of Grand Theft Auto, especially since one of the biggest pastimes in Grand Theft Auto 4 was just parking a car on a swing set and watching that bitch fly all the way across the map. Now that's something that, you know, Rockstar could have fixed. They could have patched that, but you know what? Why? Why would you want to patch something that hilarious? So hopefully the stunts in this game are going to be way more insane than ever and they're gonna look better than ever because Grand Theft Auto 5 does look like it has some pretty decent graphics in the game so the next one that I want to talk about is a huge one because I love sharks and this one's called out of your depth and it's a Jaws reference you're gonna need a bigger boat and it has a shark on it now we've all seen the screenshots of a guy on Grand Theft Auto 5 scuba diving with a shark underneath him now, a lot of people have been wondering, are the waters going to be friendly or are there going to be unfriendly motherfuckers in the sea? And I think this right here confirms the fact that not only are you going to have to go all the way to the bottom of the ocean for this achievement, but it might be just a little bit dangerous. Because remember, this is set in Los Santos, which is a kind of California style area. So there are going to be sharks right off the coast because I remember living in San Francisco. There was uh, sharks and porpoise right off of uh, Monterey, uh, you know, I guess it was that Monterey Pebble Beach area. And also, also don't sleep around Al Alcatraz. There are some, uh, there there's some pretty shitty aquatic life out there that will fuck you up pretty badly. So I can't wait to actually go swimming around, see my first shark, and possibly, maybe, there might even be a harpoon gun or underwater weapons that we could use to go and hunt these sharks because that sounds like something that I really want to do too. Shark Week, man. Shark Week. And Sharknado. Have you seen that movie? 
No? Good. Don't see that movie. It's a terrible fucking... It is a terrible movie! I'm gonna... Alright, I'm gonna spoil the ending for you right here. Ready? There's sharks in tornadoes. <laughs> so, anyway, let's go ahead and move on to everybody's favorite side missions. The Rockstar Rampages. That's right. Rockstar, once again, is bringing back the classic Rampage side missions. And that's something that everybody loves in every GTA game. Cannot be without. Because not only do you have the ability to go on a rampage at any time, but Rockstar sometimes gives you pretty cool little gadgets to do it with, like RC cars with bombs attached to them. That was probably one of my favorite rampages right there, and I'm pretty sure that was Grand Theft Auto 3. So anyway, let's move on to the last single player achievement that I do want to talk about, and that is called From Beyond the Stars. I'm going to say that again, From Beyond the Stars. And this one gives you 15 gamer points for collecting and returning all the spaceship parts. I'm gonna let that, I'm gonna let that sink into you. Collect and return all the spaceship parts. Now, since this is in Los Santos, like San Andreas, like I said before, this most likely means not only is Area 51 likely to make another appearance, but there is a possibility that we will be able to fly a spaceship around the map after finding all the parts. And everybody loves flying the helicopters around in GTA 4. And I think, you know, an alien spaceship would make a wonderful addition to this game. And not only that, but also it would remind Saints Row fans that not only that GTA had aliens first, but Saints Row is still and always will be second fiddle to the Grand Theft Auto motherfucking series because I'm a Grand Theft Auto motherfucking fanboy. Saints Row started out as a ripoff, and now they ended up with this crazy piece of shit where you're running around a town with superpowers. Even though it looks pretty cool, it's no motherfucking GTA. So, my name is Jay, more than half a kill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you could leave a thumbs up on this video, I would highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. This was just a little bit of Grand Theft Auto 5 pre-release coverage, news, and information for you guys because I am excited about this game. And my channel is about me and the games I play. And trust me, this is going to be a game that I'm going to be playing a lot. And it's going to be a game that a lot of us are going to be able to get into matches and run around towns as a gang and fuck some shit up. So, like I said, my name is Jay Morton. I have to kill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching. And I'm going to see you guys later.